This is an important question. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. There are several methods to wire a three-way switch depending on how the wiring is done. In the simplest method, power first goes into the first switch, then to the second switch and then to the light fixture. For the purpose of this video, I will be using a Leviton Decora switch. This switch is rated for 15 amperes and uh, 125 volt. And there is a self grounding strip here. So in this particular switch, the two brass screws, one on this side and one on this side, they are for traveler wires. And the black screw on this side is for bringing in the power line in or connecting the load or the light fixture. This is the top side with the top marked here. This brass strip or golden strip is the self grounding strip. It's very important to note that there is no on or off marking on these switches. In case you want to use these traditional toggle type switches, there is no up or down side. You can install it like this or you can install it like this. In whatever way you install, both of the switches should be kept in the same direction. In this particular switch, we have one brass screw on this side for the traveler wire, one black screw here for the load or line wire and on the other side we have another brass screw which is also for a traveler wire. Here are my wires. A 14-2 wire brings in the power to the first switch box. A 14-3 wire goes from the first switch box to the second switch box. Another 14-2 wire goes from the second switch box to the light fixture. And from the light fixture we have a black hot wire and white neutral wire. Let's take a look at what I have done. This is the 42 wire coming from the power source. It may be from the circuit breaker or from another switch or another outlet. And this is the 143 traveler wire. The 143 traveler wire goes from the first switch box to the second switch box. Then the 142 wire goes from the second switch box to the light fixture. In the first switch box, all grounds are connected together. The black wire from the 142 is connected to the black terminal of the switch. The red and black traveler wires from the 143 are connected to the brass screws of the switch, one on this side and one on this side. The white neutral wires, one from the 142 and one from 143, they are connected together here. In this switch box, all grounds are connected. The two white wires, one from the 143 and one from 142, they are connected together. White neutrals are not connected to the switch in any way nor neither on this side nor on this side. The black wire from the 142 which goes to the light fixture is connected to the black screw here. This is the load wire. The black and red traveler wires from 143 are connected to the traveler brass screws black on right side and the red on this side. Let's check this. On, off. On the other side, on, off. On and I can turn it off from here. Or Turn on from here, turn off from here. In this simple scenario, the power source is closer to the switch. The 14-3 wire goes from the first switch to the second switch and then it goes to the light or light fixture. This is the simpler case of wiring a three-way switch. But how the wiring is done if the power source is closer to the light fixture? The whole idea or the trick in this wiring is to route the power which is coming to the light fixture through these two switches before it reaches the light fixture. So the connections are done in such a manner that the black hot wire from here goes through these two switches and then back to the light fixture. Let's take a look at how the wires are connected. Power comes in using a 14-2 wire to the light fixture or you can say the, the outlet box for the light fixture. A 14-3 wire goes from the light fixture to the first switch box. From the first switch box, another 14-3 wire goes to the second switch box. And this is where the circuit terminates. In this light box, all the ground wires are connected using a 3-pin Vago lever nut connector. Next, the white wire from the 14-2 and the white wire from the light fixture, they are connected here. Also, the white wire from the 14-3, which is going to the first switch box, is connected here. So all three white wires, one from power source, one from light fixture and one from 14-3 wire, they are connected together here. The black wire from the power source is connected to the red wire from the 14-3 going to the first light fixture and the black wire from the light fixture is connected to the black wire going to
to the first switch here. The red wire which is connected to the black hot wire from the power source is connected to the white wire from the 143 which is going to the second switch box because this wire is hot, red becomes hot here and, and the white wire becomes hot here from this switch to that switch. This white wire is from this 14-3 wire which is coming from the light fixture is not connected here. Coming to this switch, as I explained earlier, this black wire is connected to the black wire of the light fixture. This red wire is from this 14-2 and it is coming here to the second switch. On the other side, this black traveler wire and this black traveler wire is a part of this 14-3 wire here. Take a look at this black terminal here. We have a, a white wire from this 14-3 marked as hot. This white wire comes to this switch box and is connected to the red wire here from this 14-3 and that red is connected to the black hot wire from the power source. Let's take a look at how the circuit is completed. Power comes to the light fixture using this black wire, goes to the first switch box using this red wire here and then goes to the second light fixture using this white wire here marked as uh, hot using a black tape. Power travels between these two switches back to the light fixture using the black wire from second three-way switch here. I just turned on the power on off on off on off from here and on from here off from here so this is how the three-way switch configuration works when power is coming to the light box or the outlet box for the light fixture how the wiring is done if the light fixture is in the center of two three-way switches in the wiring method i am going to show power will enter the first three-way switch then go to the light fixture after that it will go to the second three-way switch and then go back to the light fixture again. The circuit will start from the first three-way switch and will end at the second three-way switch. Let's see how it is done. To begin with, let's see how the wiring is done. So what happens in this case is that power comes into the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. This is the wire here. Then from first switch box, we have a 14-3 wire which goes to the light box. From the light box, Another 14-3 wire goes to the second light switch. These two wires, they are from the light fixture. Let's take a look at how we have connected the wires. Starting from here, power comes into the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. The black hot wire is connected here and the white neutral is connected to the white neutral of this 14-3. The red traveler wire from the 14-3 is connected to the upper brass screw of the three-way switch. On the other side, the black traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to brass screw of the three-way switch. In the light outlet box, the black traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to the white wire of this 14-3, which is going to the second switch. I have used a black tape here to indicate that this is black traveler wire. You can see that here as well. The white neutral from the light fixture is connected to the white neutral, which is coming from the first switch box and this is further connected to the white neutral of the power in. Here the red traveler wire from this 14-3 is connected to the red traveler wire of this second 14-3 wire coming from the second light fixture. And finally the black wire from the light fixture is connected to the black wire of this 14-3 which is further connected to the black load terminal of the second three-way switch. This red traveler wire is coming to the light fixture connected to the red traveler wire of this 14-3 wire. On the other side, white wire which is designated as black is coming here connected to the black traveler wire of this 14-3 wire. I turned on the power from the circuit breaker. Let's see the connections are correct or not. So first switch on, off. Second switch on, off. On from the second switch, off from the first switch. On from the first switch, off from the second switch. And each switch also works independently. Everything looks good. That verifies that all connections are correct. 